I love it. I love New Hampshire. I do. Because you know what? You got a sense of humor here. You do. Any any state that could ever elect a guy named Dick Sweat to anything. <laughs> You can look at life and laugh. Sure. We don't care. Dick Sweat. Why not? <laughs> See? So well, it's worth coming up here. Because I do, I do a lot of, I do a lot of benefits these days for shows, and and you know, and some of them are great. Some of, I just did one about two weeks ago where we raised money. Uh, for underprivileged kids that live out in Nantucket. And, uh, <laughs> both of them showed up. That was very nice. Some of those kids don't even have a summer home. I stopped for a, uh, a coffee today at, uh, that yuppie rip-off coffee place in Boston. Uh, well, you know, uh, we call it five bucks, you know. <laughs> Girl at the counter, she's got one of these rings in her eyebrow. Have you seen that? And she's got one in her other eyebrow that's just gonna hang curtains on her face. Every second. <laughs> Can I help you? I'm sorry, we're closed right now. <laughs> she's got a spike going through her cheeks. She's got a pierced lip. How do you come up with that look? How do you pass out in a tackle box? <laughs> I was doing shows in Cambridge. That place is a little too politically correct for me. Cambridge, Mass, yeah. I walked in on one store, they were selling pepper spray. I never really looked at pepper spray. I said to the girl, hey, is this the same thing as mace? And she goes, no, sir, it's not the same thing as mace. <laughs> First of all, this is biodegradable. <laughs> and totally organic. Which is something I'm deeply concerned about while I'm being attacked. <laughs> Usually I cut large hunks of tofu at my assailant. <laughs> Whip out the granola blaster. Don't mess with me, I got bran. <laughs> Friends of mine say, Rich, you'll find love again. You'll find love when you least expect it. Have you heard that before? Yeah. I was thinking about that. When would I really least expect to find love? Yeah. You know, I guess I would least expect to find love at like three in the morning while I'm taking a dump in my apartment. <laughs> Seriously. That's when I would least expect to find love. But according to their philosophy, that would be a perfect opportunity for me to hook up with my soulmate. So sure enough, last week, <laughs> I got pulled over uh, last year in Boston and after a show, I'm drinking, and a cop pulls me over, he says, you drinking? And I say, uh, you buying? <laughs> he did not have the same sense of humor as you do. <laughs> Luckily, he was a Boston cop, so a couple of bucks and he was on his way. But a lot of times, I got the credit card machine right in pretty much. <laughs> I, went out, I did a corporate show a few weeks ago in Denver, Colorado, and the, the guy takes me out for dinner. He says, you want to you try food we all eat here in Denver? I said, well, what is it? He says, it's called Rocky Mountain Oysters. <laughs> you know what that is? I wish to hell you had been with me. <laughs> okay, for those of you that don't know, Rocky Mountain Oysters, it turns out, is deep-fried bull testicles. I know, I know what you're thinking. Believe me, I'm the same way. I don't like fried food. <laughs> they were calling them swinging steaks. I swear. <laughs> How hungry was the first guy who decided to fry up he was out drinking, passed out in a field. <laughs> Looked up, 
saw the dangling delicacies, and said, oh, yeah. <laughs> then my friend tries to convince me they're supposed to be aphrodisiacs. I think the bull would disagree with that theory. 